Like, are we going to be able to display it outside Parliament? I swear, well, I feel obviously going to go in this one. <laughs> this is the one that looks more like me. I think I probably always wanted to work in the voluntary sector and then actually at Goldsmiths in one of my modules I got to work with the Older People's Befriending Advocacy Service and that sort of made me realise that there was a lot going on in London that I could work on and change and support a particular generation of people. There are older people in and out of the office which is lovely. I get to talk to them, learn about their lives, learn about what's going on in their local community and get to support them with yeah, things totally. that they want to change. And what's the P? Transphobia. 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 What I love about Educate and Celebrate is that we're all experienced teachers and we work with teachers every day. What we're doing is we are creating institutional change and the feedback we get from that is absolutely <laughs> amazing. It's the best part of the job to hear teachers say, you have now given us the confidence to come out, to be ourselves. It's completely transformed the way I teach. Most of our work is overseas. We work in sub-Saharan Africa, so places like Zimbabwe, Zambia, Tanzania and so on. International development is not reported on that much, so my main job is to try and get the work that we do talked about. I advise our campaigns on how to get their message across. We run a big global campaign around HIV and AIDS called Youth Stop AIDS. Our target is lofty, we want to end AIDS by 2030. I'm quite excited by us being a generation that gets to address that and not be the one that sort of just gives up, but be the ones that kind of really push forward. Now you are never too old for a sticker, are you? Part of my reasons for going to Goldsmiths is that it has a fantastic reputation, not only for education, but also for activism in general. It gave me the skills to write in an academic way and it also gave me the research skills that I so desperately needed to support the charity. All of my academic studies and all my research totally underpins the work that I'm now doing. Well done, though. There's a direct link between my experiences at Goldsmiths and the kind of belief sets I've built up there and what I'm doing in my work today. Because it was no longer just books and papers and feeling overwhelmed with the scale of it. I could see small scale actions making a difference. That's an amazing thing to actually be able to work with people and get things that they want on the agenda. It's just really important to me that I'm doing something worthwhile, that I think is worthwhile, and that I feel like I have a chance to make a difference. If you want to make a positive change, then go out there and do it. There is absolutely nothing stopping you whatsoever. I'd be lying if I say it was a completely smooth path into this role. So what I'd say to people is that when you leave, you don't have to have it all mapped out, but keep pursuing the things that you're interested in, keep pursuing the things that you're good at, and you'll find your way to the job that's right for you.